What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to have a discussion about how Pirates of the Caribbean should end Jack Sparrow's story. So this is kind of a break from, you know, we've talked a lot about Amber Heard, we talked a lot about Giant Depp, we talked a lot about behind the scenes and Margot Robbie and a lot of worries. I wanted to do a video like this, a, a more of a discussion, a more fun getting back into the world that we love of Pirates of the Caribbean, right? And I do want to sprinkle these in, by the way, every so often. Obviously, if there's news on the, the, the people front, right, or, or about the movies uh, upcoming, right? But I do want to have this uh, more of a discussion video for you guys here. And if you want me to do more of these kind of videos, well, definitely, number one, let me know in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for me, let me know. Number two, while you're there, make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed, bell icon, turned on if you guys want to follow me on twitter podcast now 15 is my twitter handle would love to have you guys over there all right we've talked about parts of this before in fact i think and by the way when you make a video when you make videos like me for the last four and a half years on you know on pirates of the caribbean you're bound to probably repeat some things whether it be in topics or in words but i know i think we talked about like if he should die or not and i i, I guess we could bring that up definitely in this video i guess in order to tell this story of you know what they would do or like how could you end jack sparrow's story you have to assume that he'd be coming back. So obviously, it's pretty sketchy of whether he's actually going to be uh, back for the next Pirates movie. He may not even be the main character, the main focus, right? But let's just pretend, let's just say that he will be. Let's say that this is going to kind of be focusing on him or have some focus on him, uh, and how would they do it? Well, I guess there, there's a couple aspects of it. Uh, number one is that choice. And a lot of these are questions, by the way, and I don't always have answers to these questions. A lot of them uh, come down to you guys. Do you kill him off do you you know do you end him that's one and that's a yes or no do you finish him with the pearl like does he i guess well actually there's kind of branching things does he go down with the ship again does he sail away to the sunset again with the pearl but you know that they're safe these are things so let's talk about those two first um i think well it's tough because if you were to do a pirate six and you include the post credit scene of Dead Men Tell No Tales. And obviously, you're bringing back Davy Jones, and that is just opening a whole can of worms that we can't really predict what exactly is going on, how exactly they would handle that things. I know when Pirates 5 came out, we had a lot of discussions about Poseidon. So Poseidon was pretty much established in Pirates 5 as a an entity in the world. Do you bring in basically the god of the sea? We've had the devil of the sea in Davy Jones, but do you bring in the god and maybe there's a problem there with Poseidon maybe he's corrupted or whatever he's just evil and that has something to do with, with with Jack Sparrow I will say this I don't really think anybody wants to see him die okay uh in Pirates 2 obviously that was something that was unexpected but the way they were doing it with Dead Man's Chest and then at World's End obviously the plan was to bring him back and everything would be okay there we've had this discussion before in did at World's End, like, was the ending of At World's End kind of... Actually, I don't think we've talked about was it, like, the perfect ending, but we've talked about should they have stopped there. And what I think is really cool about that ending is, is just how good it was. I love the ending of At World's End, okay? I think it's about as close to a perfect ending, not just for Pirates, but in general. You see a lot of movie franchises that... Either they can't let go, and funny enough, pirates kind of you know continue down that way, but they either can't let go, or they don't know when to end it, or they maybe have a good ending, but obviously it keeps going, or they just end it badly. It kind of all you know builds up to one thing, one ending, one moment, and they drop the ball, right? The biggest thing with Pirates 3 that everybody, I think, had the biggest issue with, if there was an issue, was that he didn't have the pearl. But it was very, very reminiscent of Pirates 1, and I think that... When we talk about this, how should they end the story? So obviously, if he's in the next movie, they'd have something. The villain, the plot, the idea, you know, whatever the, the goal or objective or enemy or danger, you know, any of those words, one of them would have to be connected to Jack Sparrow, okay? So obviously, they would go through all that. They'd make friends, make relationships, lose people, all that stuff, and it would end. I don't think he'd be killed off. I really think they would keep him alive. Now, that could just be because they always have the opportunity to bring him back if they wanted to. Now, again, I've said it time and time again, I would prefer a really good ending with him, but that is solidified. And I guess if you want him to come back as a cameo, he can, but to come back as a main character beyond one more movie, again, I just don't think is a good idea. I don't want to see, and I, I, he's only 57, I believe is his age, but I don't want to see 
a 70-year-old Jack Sparrow trying to carry a Pirates movie. I just don't think it's going to work out all that well, okay? I could be wrong, and they could prove me wrong, and I guess go for it, you know, obviously if, if they want to do that, but I think... But I don't think you have to kill him off in order for that to happen. You know what I mean? Like, in order to satisfy my wants of a really good ending, and then you kind of just leave him alone, you don't have to kill him off. Um, and then again, there's the discussion of should he end with the Pearl or not. Well, Pirates 5, ironically enough, did end him with the Pearl. And we've talked about it where if that really is the last time we see him, do we think that that is a acceptable ending? Now, I will say no. That's always been my answer. Ever since, literally, when Pirates 5 ended, I was like, okay, I like it. You know, they're on the right track, but I don't think that is fully the proper ending for Jack. Now, you could say, well, Alex, if you literally just ended Pirate 6 and you put him on the Pearl and you had him, you know, sail towards some, you know, uh, goal, like a, like a far-reaching goal that you just assume he'll do, like, on his own that we're not going to be able to see, that's kind of the same as what he's done before. Like, is that, you know, isn't that kind of the same thing? Yeah, I just feel like one of the main reasons I want him to come back again is to do his character as well as humanly possible throughout the entire movie and then end it kind of similarly to how, again, like, the ending of At World's End is so perfect because, again, while he doesn't have the pearl and Barbosa doesn't, again, that kind of made people upset at the time, it ended with him kind of in a similar situation to Pirates 1, and it kind of did do exactly what I'm pitching uh, as an idea for the end of the series or the end of his character where everybody's going their own way, he's happy, he's kind of achieved his goal, he's safe, he's all that stuff, he's still going to have fun, he's still going to be crazy, all that stuff, he's on his little dinghy, and he's got an objective going towards the Fountain of Youth. Now, will he get there? What does that entail? That is a story that we will imagine on our own. Now, they messed that part up because they told the story and it wasn't very good, specifically the Fountain of Youth, but, you know what I mean, but that was the idea, that you're setting it up towards some overreaching goal that you're not going to actually see him do. And so I think if you did that again with Pirate 6, now again, you could have the Pearl there. You could be on the Pearl and still be going towards something. I think that would be okay. I mean, it's such a famous ship. It's such iconic uh, to the franchise. It's iconic to him. But I don't know. I mean, maybe if you literally... But I, I would say, if you're... I, I was about to say, if you're going to end his character, you're going to end the franchise, maybe you want to give him the Pearl. But again, at the time with Pirates 3... They did assume it was the end. I mean, yeah, it was only a couple years later that they did Pirates 4, but it was assumed that that was it. So, and they didn't they didn't do that, right? They chose to kind of separate him uh, from his ship. And again, who knows? In your own head, you can tell the story of maybe how he found it. Maybe Barbosa lost, or maybe he stole it from Barbosa like a week later. Like we don't know, right? That's kind of the mystery. Oh, that, that that could have been the mystery of it. You know what I mean? So that's an interesting one. I mean, honestly, even the way they ended Pirates 4 now. You guys know how I feel, hopefully you guys know if you've watched it long enough, how I feel about Pirates 4, but one thing I have truly always given them credit for, and always will, is that ending. I actually adore the ending of Pirates 4, mainly because, well, also Pirates 4 in general did have that still that kind of real Jack Sparrow that we kind of have, at least me, right, that we've grown to love, Pirates 3, Pirates 4, even Pirates 2 to an extent. Like, that's the, like to me, that's the, the real Jack Sparrow, really, really good one. But the ending of Pirates 4 with him basically having a monologue and talking about kind of like history and fame and living forever, uh, living forever, but kind of being not necessarily self-aware, not necessarily thinking that you're in a movie, but talking about like his presence, like going forward was actually a, just a really good, like several lines. It was a really good message. It was a really good connection to the theme of the movie, but also again, kind of talking about like, Hey, if this is it, like, his name really will live on forever, you know what I mean? So it was it was kind of meta in a way, but really, really good. And he had the pearl, but he couldn't get it out yet, so we don't know necessarily, right, if he ever... And again, as we found out, like, he never did. He never figured out how to get the pearl out. So that's something, too, that I actually kind of like the way Pirates 4 did. They have had, actually all of them, I would say all five, have had really solid endings overall. It's, again, I think how you develop his character and do his character throughout the movie and then you end it and again you have to end it I would say pretty solidly where there's not a um well I guess there's there is a direct way he could come back but again it's more of like a play on your imagination that you can figure out the rest even without the Davy Jones stuff at the end of five and again if they ended it now again like the, the ending's fine but the way they handled his character which I thought was terrible throughout all of Pirates 5 that was the main issue but even if you imagine 
the ending, like he's you know he's setting sail, he's sailing beyond uh, his his beloved horizon, all that stuff. Like you can imagine things he's going to do, and he's happy, and you know you, you see the big sun there in in the, in the shot, all that stuff. Like it, it is good, uh, and again, that's kind of an open ended thing where you can imagine the stuff he's going to do, or you could tell it for you know you could they could actually tell it again. I don't think they should. I think this really should be one more movie should be it. Again, if he wants to cameo or be a very, very small part in future movies, then you do it. But again, obviously, uh, it's fun to think about. At the same time, then the second you think about what's actually gone on with Johnny Depp and Disney, all of it kind of gets a little bit more depressing again because it's like, I love talking about this. I love talking about pirates. I love talking about the potential for what they could do in more movies. And then you think about it and you're just like, please for the love of God, just just rehire the man, okay? So let me know, guys, in the comments below, what do you think? How do you think they should end his story? Do you think they should end you know, him as, as a character? Do you think they should you know, end him with the pearl or not? Let me know. As always, again, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. Again, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, PodcastNow15 is my Twitter handle. Would love to have you guys over there. Thank you all so much for watching. I do a new Pirates video every single Wednesday on this channel, and so I hope to see you guys for next week's video.